The Sea Shell is a Unix shell that was created by Bill Joy while he was a graduate student at University of California, Berkeley in the late 1970s. It has been distributed widely, beginning with the two Bahamian dollars release of the BSD Unix system that Joy began distributing in 1978. Other early contributors to the ideas or the code were Michael Erbel, Eric Ullman, Mike O'Brien and Jim Culp. The C shell is a command processor typically run in a text window, allowing the user to type commands. The C shell can also read commands from a file, called a script. Like all Unix shells, it supports file name wildcarding, piping, here documents, command substitution, variables and control structures for condition testing and iteration. What differentiated the C shell from others, especially in the 1980s, were its interactive features and overall style. Its new features made it easier and faster to use. The overall style of the language looked more like C and was seen as more readable. On many systems, such as Mac OS X and Red Hat Linux, CSH is actually TCSH, an improved version of CSH. Often one of the two files is either a hard link or a symbolic link to the other so that either name refers to the same improved version of the C shell. On Debian and some derivatives, there are two different packages, CSH and TCSH. The former is based on the original BSD version of CSH and the latter is the improved TCSH. TCSH added file name and command completion and command line editing concepts borrowed from the 10x system, which is the source of the T. Because it only added functionality and did not change what was there, TCSH remained backward compatible with the original C shell. Though it started as a side branch from the original source tree Joy had created, TCSH is now the main branch for ongoing development. TCSH is very stable but new releases continue to appear roughly once a year, consisting mostly of minor bug fixes. Design Objectives and Features the main design objectives for the C shell were that it should look more like the C programming language and that it should be better for interactive use. Equals more like C equals, the Unix system had been written almost exclusively in C, so the C shell's first objective was a command language that was more stylistically consistent with the rest of the system. The keywords, the use of parentheses and the C shell's built-in expression grammar and support for arrays were all strongly influenced by C. By today's standards, CSH may not seem particularly more C-like than many other popular scripting languages. But through the 80s and 90s, the difference was seen as striking, particularly when compared to Bourne Shell, the then-dominant shell written by Stephen Bourne at Bell Labs. This example illustrates the C shell's more conventional expression operators and syntax, schlacked and expression grammar. The square bracketed condition had to be evaluated by the slower means of running the external test program shiz if command took its argument words as a new command to be run as a child process. If the child exited with a zero return code, sh would look for a then clause and run that nested block. Otherwise it would run the else. Hard linking the test program as both test and opening square bracket gave the notational advantage of the square brackets and the appearance that the functionality of test was part of the schlanguage's use of a reversed keyword to mark the end of a control block was a style borrowed from ALGOL 68. By contrast, CSH could evaluate the expression directly, which made it faster. It also claimed better readability, its expressions used a grammar and a set of operators mostly copied from C. None of its keywords were reversed and the overall style was also more like C. Here is a second example, comparing scripts that calculate the first 10 powers of 2. Again because of the lack of an expression grammar, the sh script uses command substitution and the expr command. The ed statement in C shall is a pun, it's the ed sign meant statement. Finally, here is a third example, showing the differing styles for a switch statement. In the sh script, marks the end of each case because sh disallows null statements otherwise. Equals improvements for interactive use equals, the second objective was that the C shell should be better for interactive use. It introduced numerous new features that made it easier, faster and more friendly to use by typing commands at a terminal. Users could get things done with a lot fewer keystrokes and it ran faster. 
The most significant of these new features were the history and editing mechanisms, aliases, directory stacks, tilde notation, CDPATH, job control and path hashing. These new features proved very popular, and many of them have since been copied by other Unix shells. History History allows users to recall previous commands and rerun them by typing only a few quick keystrokes. For example, two exclamation marks. Typed as a command and referred to as bang, bang, causes the immediately preceding command to run. Other short keystroke combinations, for example, dollar to mean just the last argument of the previous command, allow bits and pieces of previous commands to be pasted together and edited to form a new command. Editing operators, editing can be done not only on the text of a previous command, but also on variable substitutions. Operators range from simple string search replace to parsing a path name to extract a specific segment. Aliases, aliases allow the user to type the name of an alias and have the C shall expand it internally into whatever set of words the user has defined. For many simple situations, aliases run faster and are more convenient than scripts. Directory stack, the directory stack allows the user to push or pop the current working directory, making it easier to jump back and forth between different places in the file system. Tilde notation, tilde notation offers a shorthand way of specifying path names relative to the home directory using the tilde character. File name completion. The escape key can be used interactively to show possible completions of a file name at the end of the current command line. CDPATH CDPATH extends the notion of a search path to the CD command. If the specified directory isn't in the current directory, CSH will try to find it in the CDPATH directories. Job control Well into the 1980s, most users only had simple character mode terminals that precluded multiple windows, so they could only work on one task at a time. The C shell's job control allowed the user to suspend the current activity and create a new instance of the C shell, called a job, by typing Z. The user could then switch back and forth between jobs using the FG command. The active job was said to be in the foreground. Other jobs were said to be either suspended or running in the background. Path hashing, path hashing speeds up the C shell's search for executable files. Rather than performing a file system call in each path directory, one at a time, until it either finds the file or runs out of possibilities, the C shell consults an internal hash table built by scanning the path directories. The table can usually tell the C shell where to find the file without having to search, and can be refreshed with the rehash command. Overview of the language the C shell operates one line at a time. Each line is tokenized into a set of words separated by spaces or other characters with special meaning, including parentheses, piping and input-output redirection operators, semicolons, and ampersands. Equals basic statements equals, a basic statement is one that simply runs a command. The first word is taken as name of the command to be run and may be either an internal command, for example, echo, or an external command. The rest of the words are passed as arguments to the command. At the basic statement level, here are some of the features of the grammar. Wildcarding, the C shell, like all Unix shells, treats any command line argument that contains wildcard characters as a pattern and replaces it with a list of all the file names that match. Matches any number of characters. Matches any single character matches any of the characters inside the square brackets. Ranges are allowed, using the hyphen. Matches any character not in the set. The C shell also introduced several notational conveniences, since copied by other Unix shells. ABC def, guise alternation and expands to abcf ABC GHI. Means the current user's home directory. User means user's home directory. Multiple directory level wildcards, for example, slash C, are supported. Since version 6.17.01, recursive wildcarding ala ZSH is also supported with the Globstar option. Giving the shell the responsibility for interpreting wildcards was an important decision on Unix. It meant that wildcards would work with every command, 
and always in the same way. However, the decision relied on Unix's ability to pass long argument lists efficiently through the exec system call that CSH uses to execute commands. By contrast, on Windows, wildcard interpretation is conventionally performed by each application. This is a legacy of MS-DOS, which only allowed a 128-byte command line to be passed to an application, making wildcarding by the DOS command prompt impractical. Although modern Windows can pass command lines of up to roughly 32K Unicode characters, the burden for wildcard interpretation remains with the application. IO redirection, by default, when CSH runs a command, the command inherits the CSH's STDIO file handles for STDIN, STDOUT and STDERR, which normally all point to the console window where the C shell is running. The I.O. redirection operators allow the command to use a file instead for input or output. File means stdout will be written to file, overwriting it if it exists, and creating it if it doesn't. Errors still come to the shell window. And file means both stdout and stderr will be written to file, overwriting it if it exists, and creating it if it doesn't. File means stdout will be appended at the end of file. And file means both stdout and stderr will be appended at the end of file. 